I'm gonna be honest, this feels super freaking weird to actually be sitting down with you guys and uh, talking. Oh, great. Oh, great. That's just great. So I'm up. Uh, it's, it's been three months since I've uploaded a video and I've been contemplating on doing this video for a long time uh, explaining why I basically quit YouTube. <laughs> And uh, of course my girlfriend texts me and be like, hey, we're gonna go get Portillo's, wanna come? And obviously I do. So I'm gonna see you guys in a couple hours, cause uh, you know I'm gonna get me some Portillo's. So yeah, <laughs> I, may, maybe this is a sign, you know? I, like, I, like I said, I've been sitting on this video for such a long time and when I finally actually like have the nerve to set up the camera, something comes up which postpones the video even more. Maybe it's a sign that I really am done with YouTube. Anyways, see you guys later. All right, uh, so uh, it's about like maybe two hours later, two and a half hours later. For, before we begin, I just want to say that like I don't like the fact that this is like a sit down type of video where I have to like set up the camera and I have to think of what to say and I, ha I have to like write a whole page of notes so I know like what points to cover. I feel like it shouldn't be like that. I feel like I should like... I wish I could just be like real with you guys, which I am going to be, but you know, I just have a lot of things to cover. Uh, you guys haven't seen me in a while, I haven't seen you guys in a while. Um, and like I said, I've been sitting on this video for a long time and um, I was like, you know, fine, we're, we're just going to do it. I, I, it was going to come sometime, but why haven't I uploaded in a long time? Um, basically, the simple fact that I just, I just don't have any time to do it. That's one reason. My second year of college has been way crazier than my first and uh, we're only halfway through the year. I had originally planned to be uploading videos like a lot more this year. You guys were there for my summer videos where um, I started my podcast and I also started my gameplay videos. Um, I enjoyed doing those videos to an extent. But I want to catch you guys up uh, to what I've been doing basically. Here, let's go back to my camera roll because I don't even remember what I've been doing with my life. In the three months since I last saw you guys, I have been doing a lot of stuff with my marching band. Uh, we are actually just finishing off the season over at my school. On top of that, I went on a nice nature hike with uh, this club at my school. It was super fun to go to. Also, uh, I did a lot of fall fun things with some friends. Uh, I've also been uh, doing a lot of stuff with my acapella group called One Note Stand. We actually made ICCA, which uh, if you don't know what that is, that's basically um, that contest that you see in Pitch Perfect 2. We're very excited and February 22nd is going to be our big performance. Uh, I feel like we've come a long way. We're, uh, we have a good group this year. We have a good set list on what we're going to be singing. Also, I went to my study abroad coordinator at my school because next year I do plan to be studying abroad over at England. I'm going to be doing media over there. Uh, um, if you guys don't know, I am majoring in interactive media studies and uh, there's a school over at England that is um, tied with North Central, the school I go to, and they have a huge media program over there and so you know that I'm going to be getting right on that. So that's going to be fun. I still have to fill out some forms for that. I just got to save up a lot of money, which is probably going to be the hardest part about studying abroad. But yeah, because of all this, I've just had literally no time for YouTube. Uh, I knew that if I wanted to stay sane, there would be no way that I would like manage all my classes, all my extracurricular activities, and do YouTube. Um, there, it would just be impossible, and I would probably go crazy if I tried to pull put all of that weight on my shoulders. But so that's one reason why you guys haven't been seeing me. But one thing I want to talk to you guys about is that if I did have the time to be doing YouTube videos, would I still be doing them? And the answer is I don't know, because. Um, Maybe maybe it's just because I haven't had the time I've lost interest or maybe it's not maybe I genuinely like don't enjoy YouTube anymore So the last couple videos that I did um, Specifically my gaming videos and and kind of my podcast as well um, I don't know it just felt kind of forced to me it didn't um, I didn't have like too much fun making them it uh, I felt like I was uh I was more talking to a camera and I wasn't actually playing the game or like speaking into my microphone. I felt like I was like thinking of something to say for the entire time and I ha I was like trying hard to make it interesting for you guys. 
and that's not what it should be about. It shouldn't have to feel like uh, I have to act a certain way in front of the camera. You know, because YouTube is, um, their whole entire motto is broadcast yourself, even though that's not exactly what it is anymore. Um, more, more talk on that later on. But yeah, I just, y the videos haven't been really fun to make. So I've always loved making videos. I have been making videos ever since I was in fifth grade. Um, so what, that's, that's pretty much 10 years now. And uh, although I love making videos, it's just not the same anymore. Um, I feel like I've grown more mature in my videos. And um, even, though, even though a lot of my early YouTube videos were very cringy, um, back when I used to do like skits and comedy sketches, even though they were very cringy, they were still more fun back then. You know, something about doing YouTube, um, I think it was my junior year of, of high school, that was a fun time to be making videos. That was when I was starting out. And I think that's that's the reason why it felt fun is because I was starting out YouTube and I um and not a lot of people watched me. And you know, because like my my only audience were just like some friends and family members. So I felt like I could do whatever I want. And um not that I don't feel that way anymore, but um because I had a small audience, I felt like I could just mess around more and um but now that more people watch me who I know, I feel like I have to act a certain way in my videos because then later on when they see me, I feel like um, they're going to be thinking in their heads like, yo, I saw his last video, what the heck was he doing? Um, which I know I should, if, I, if I'm going to be a YouTuber, that's just something I shouldn't care about. But the thing is, I don't know if I want to be a YouTuber anymore. So like a lot of young people, I wanted to be a YouTuber ever since I was little. Like I said, in fifth grade, I started this. That was when I discovered YouTube.com and what it exactly was. You know, it was a place where people made their own videos and they uploaded it. And once I got sucked into this community, I knew that that's what I wanted to do when I grew up. Um, pretty much like like every single 10 year old out there. They they watch all their favorite YouTubers to be like, oh look, it's it's Jake Paul, it's Team 10. I wanna, I wanna make YouTube videos when I grow up because that's just such a cool thing to do. That, that kid was me. When I was little, I wanted to be that. So once I actually started this channel and I started to make videos, you know, of course, like uh, they struggled with like views and like subscribers, uh, just like every starting YouTube channel. But once I actually got off at a steady pace, there was no stopping me and um I feel like every single high school that you go to there's that one kid that makes videos and they want the entire class to know that they made videos that kid was me so that also meant that I wanted to become the school's youtuber because again like I feel like every high school has a kid that uploads videos and who actually has a decent amount of subscribers because like there's a difference between someone being like oh hey I make videos and you go to their channel and they only have like like 36 subscribers versus the other kid in class who actually makes videos who is consistent on their channel and and actually has a decent amount of subscribers um, so I wanted to be that kid I wanted to be the youtuber of the school and pretty soon I was in a matter of uh, about nine months uh, I would say like pretty much uh, a lot of people at my high school knew who I was they knew uh, that I made videos and uh, a lot of them were subscribed to me um, and there, it became the time where, you know, I would go to school and there would be people in the hallways being like, Oh look, it's 18 Jason M. And be like, hey, I saw your last video and all that other stuff. But, uh, so obviously that is like every single high schooler's dream. Every single kid who makes videos in high school, they, they would die to be that kid in their school. The guy, the person that makes videos and the person that is like famously known at their school to be making videos online and like the entire school is subscribed to. So yeah, uh, I was, and it was great. It, it felt great to be that student, um, that kid that was known to be making videos. The thing is, that was just a long time ago and a part of me feels like I, I peaked in high school. A part of it's true, a part of it's not true. Um, of course, I don't want that. I don't want like to be a person that only peaked in high school. Senior year, do you guys remember that, that a documentary thing that I made uh, where I recorded nine months of my entire life. So that was something that really impacted my life in those nine months. I basically just got to tell my story through video. Uh, I would say that storytelling kind of changed my life. Um, 
and I actually originally wanted to be a story time YouTuber where uh, I would tell you guys about like crazy experiences that I uh, had throughout my life. So I kind of took senior year as an opportunity to be like, wow, like I, I realized that I could just tell the story as it was happening. So that's exactly what I did. For nine entire months, whenever something happened to me, I would bust out my camera and I would be like, hey guys, November 22nd at about 11.26 p.m. Sometimes I wish I didn't film that video because, I mean, yeah, it was a great way to just like self-reflect and grow myself as a person throughout the year, except now I have that memory on video to be watching for the rest of my life. That's the thing about memories. There are some memories in life that you um, want to hold on to for the rest of your life and that you wish you like had documented so you could like look back on it when you're like old and like you can't do anything anymore. Um, and that was kind of my intent as well in recording this video. I wanted to be able to look back on it when I was old and remember like how terrible and great senior year was. Gosh, I, I, I see that, there there I go again. I, I talk about high school like, like I'm still living in it. I, that's another reason why I wish I didn't record that video because, because I had those memories like recorded and they were like somewhere for me to physically like literally watch, it caused me to like keep living in the past, you know? Senior year was definitely the the time that I wanted to cherish for the rest of my life. By like by no means do I regret filming this video, but at the same time I do. And after I edited and released that documentary to the public, after all of my peers and classmates saw my journey through senior year, I feel like I talked about it and um, I thought about it way more than I should have. I, I guess the reason is because I had worked so hard on it and I wanted people to be able to to like know my story um, and I would I wanted I wanted my message to get out to as many people as possible so um, so that's why I just talked about it and thought of it and it soon turned into something that was like not healthy at that point and that's what caused me to live in the past and don't get me wrong senior year 2018 was an amazing time and uh, everyone everyone has that one year in their life where like they wish they could just like they wish they had that time to like live in forever. That time era in your life where you like, it just takes you back. You think about that time being like, man, those were some good days. Yeah, that senior year was that for me. But of course, you know, we all we all eventually have to move on because like those times don't last forever. Nothing lasts forever and nothing stays the same. Um, but that was the thing that I was having trouble with is that I made I made that year so special for myself that I didn't want to let it go. So I didn't. And that's what had caused me to make me feel like I am I peaked in high school. So that's, that's just one reason why I haven't been that active on YouTube lately. Because, uh, because you, YouTube was sort of the thing that was holding me back from like moving on in my life. So that's why I took a break. And I don't even know if I'm gonna like begin to upload videos again. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, probably not. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be uploading videos like every now and then. But as for like right now, like these like consistent uploads that you guys got throughout the summertime, that, that's been gone for a long time. Um, also, I mentioned earlier in this video how like uh, the recent videos I made, like Real Talk Central and my Bully playthrough videos, it felt forced. Um, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry if you guys have been uh, enjoying the Bully Scholarship Edition playthrough, but I, I, I'm not gonna continue it, um, which is sad because like you guys seem to have enjoyed it, but it, I, I wish I could say the same, but I can't. And I apologize if you were enjoying the series. I know that some people were uh, excited for it, and trust me, I was too. But it just, it wasn't what I expected it to be, and it didn't like turn out the way I wanted to. So with that, Bully Scholarship Edition playthrough is over. I'm just ending it right there, and I'm sorry. So now I want to talk about YouTube as a whole. What is YouTube anymore? So as you guys know, YouTube is kind of dying as a platform. The original like motto of YouTube was broadcast yourself. But in 2019, is it is it even possible to be a YouTuber anymore? The only people who currently have YouTube as a career are people who started way back in like 2012, 2013. Um, that was 
back when YouTube was actually good and back when uh, YouTube actually cared about their creators. Um, you guys already know what I'm talking about. Demonetization, family friendly content, ad revenue, you know, stuff like that. Um, YouTube, YouTube has, is just killing every single channel. It's impossible to make videos now and actually like make a living off of it. YouTube doesn't give you any freedom to do what you want anymore. You can't make the type of content you want to. There are some like things that go out of like YouTube's guidelines. You can't include this, you can't include that. Um, and I, I've never really had a problem with that because um, I, I've only been demonetized like maybe three, four times throughout my entire history of YouTube. Um, but still, I, I don't know if I wanna support a platform that doesn't allow their creators to be creative. For example, there are a lot of YouTubers out there who have left the platform because they they knew that it was gonna be impossible to make a video here because they weren't allowed to do what they wanted to do. And it's sad because, you know, like I said earlier, I really wanted to have YouTube as my career ever since I was little, but it's, it's just impossible to do now. Um, am I still going to be making YouTube videos because I love it? and I do it as a hobby, yes, I will. But as a career, I don't think so, you know, because uh, I know that uh, it's, there There would be no way I could make money off of this platform. If, if I'm going to be working for a company that is going to cut all of my ad revenue, my paycheck, because uh, they just simply don't like the content that I'm doing, then I'm not going to be doing this for business. I'm only gonna be doing it for fun and that's just how it's gonna be. That's how it's gonna be. Um, and I also used to be used to be that one guy that always was always all like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Oh, did you subscribe? And I would like tell people that that's not a thing anymore because I just don't care. I don't care about making videos. I don't care about building my platform. I don't like because if I what's the point in building my YouTube channel if it's just going to go like nowhere because this business is like it's just something that you can't do anything on and a couple months ago the youtube algorithm actually got an update where um they started to cut subs drastically and they started to cut um like a lot of video recommendations and channel recommendations so that meant that like a lot um less people were being trafficked toward towards my channel um i was actually receiving uh, a pretty decent subscriber growth rate i was getting around like maybe 60 to 70 subs per day and uh, all of a sudden that literally stopped like I was getting zero subs per day and uh, Maybe uh, on a good day. I would be getting three to five subscribers um, there, there there was actually a time where I was at uh, 6.7 thousand. I think I was to be exact like 6730 somewhere in there and all of a sudden I went f within like a day I went from that 730 all the way down to 680 and that's where it's been and in three months of be of me being inactive on YouTube I've been jumping from 680 to 690 and I've just been going back and forth and the reason the reason behind that is because you know YouTube is just their algorithm algorithm has changed no one is being uh, recommended to my channel anymore um, uh, some people would say like oh your videos are just like not good anymore no like because if, if my videos weren't good, it would have gone, like, my subscriber growth rate would have gone down, like, at a decent pace. But no, it just dropped all of a sudden. All those subscribers went from 70 to 0 in one day. And it was the day that YouTube got their update to their algorithm. So, that's just a platform that I cannot work with. That's basically just what's going on, why I haven't been uploading videos, um... And do I feel the urge to be making videos anymore? Sadly, no. Um, I like, like I said, I've been sitting on this video for like three months. I even said briefly in my last video that I'm going to be doing an update video. And as, well, here it is guys, three months later. So that kind of goes to show like how like devoted I've been to YouTube. You know, and, and that's sad, you know, going from the kid that was um, the YouTuber of, of the school um, and the kid that like had the passion in him, you know, unfortunately that, that passion has just kind of gone down um, because, because of what this platform has become. It's just not the same anymore.
that's basically just what I want to say. But I do want to say that I feel better just getting this off my chest because uh, I, I've had like YouTube ideas in my head in, um, in the past three months, but I knew that I couldn't upload those because it would just look weird. Um, up like uploading a random video after three months without an explanation. I knew that I needed to do a, a sit down video before I wanted to upload anything um, so that at least you guys could know what what actually went on before I started to upload content again. So here, here you guys go, at, le at least you know what, what went on. But yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, I, will always, um, I will always appreciate what YouTube has done for me, what it has brought me, like the community that I've built, the friends that I've made online, and uh, I, I will like, always cherish my YouTube channel. Um, I know that this will probably come like as a shock to a lot of you guys who have known me to like always be like grinding on these videos, but uh, uh I, I'm just focusing on other things in life and that's just how it's gonna be, but so whether whether this was um, the first video you've ever watched in my channel or whether you've been at my channel ever since the beginning, bottom line, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I, I do hope to come back to YouTube one day um, but at least you you guys just deserve to know what was going on that's it